Click on subscribe, click on the bell icon to get notifications from India's smartest channel, TRS Clips. Um, where did this start? And very interesting, I know that you were born in Pakistan. Yes, I was born in Pakistan and it's, it's really funny. So I was born in Pakistan and I'm not that old, contrary to the attire. So I was born in 83 in Pakistan, which is kind of rare. And in fact, once in the office, I have to tell you this, I told some guy I'm born in Pakistan and he looked at me with this strange kind of disbelief. And then he held my hand and he's like, it must have been really sad coming on that train during the partition. <laughs> I was like, okay, no, I was not. So my dad is a career diplomat. Um, he was actually born in a village in UP called Gango, district, village kind of thing. And he ranked, I think, 10th or 7th All India, which is crazy in the civil services, first one. And then he got into the foreign service and he had the choice at that point of going to Pakistan or Switzerland. And my mom keeps telling me this. She's like, you know, when we got married, I was like, I've married a foreign service officer. And there was this whole Yash Chopra and Silsila and all that phase going on. And I was like, let's go to Switzerland. And mm. he's like, let's go to Pakistan. It's good for my career because it's a neighboring country. So we lived in Pakistan between 83 and 87. Um, Do you have any memories of Junior KG in Pakistan? No, I could not go to school because in Pakistan, it is too unsafe for an Indian diplomat's kids to go to school. Wow. In fact, it is so unsafe that you can't even see an external doctor. I mean, as you think about it, it makes sense. So what the government does is the embassy has their own doctors for you too. They have journalists, they have doctors, they have a whole ecosystem. It's one of our largest embassies in the world. Do you have any memory of Pakistan? Uh, I have memories of a very, very big house. Um, my parents have lots of memories uh, of Pakistan and they have very, very positive memories uh, of their Pakistan phase. They, they said the Indian embassy was a very bonded place because there was nothing else to do, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, there was nothing else to do, no one else to do. But I was really homeschooled. I was homeschooled for the first four years. Um, and I keep joking with my friends these days who are obsessed with their kids getting into play school at one and two years. I was like, it is fine, you know, just homeschool them till four or five. They'll turn out okay. Mm -hmm. So... That was our memory of Pakistan. Um, and uh, my mother has some very funny memories of guys spying on us and our wow. phones being tapped. And she's like, we knew people who are sort of outside our house watching over us. And they knew that we knew. And we had a kind of nice, it's like they would even say, Adab Begum, you know, mm. just used to go on. So that that is how it was. And uh, I was brought up. So my first language was actually Urdu. Wow. <laughs>